And welcome back to the Marvel Anna Let's Play of Bloodborne. As you remember, we just made it to Old Yarnum. I decided to leave and put some blood echoes into my level, but we are back, and as you can see, door hasn't been opened yet. As you remember, this place has been abandoned by hunters. So now, use the hunter's axe. We do that, we need to get one more weapon. Luckily, we're right near it, so that's great. You there! Hunter! Didn't you see the warning? Can't read. Literally, I never get this guy's um, reasoning. He just doesn't want you here. I need to kill this. See those those blood shards, and we'll have to come back for that. Ooh. Now here's what I mean about cheese. Ready? Oh. Because of that knockback. That knockback gives us a lot of advantage. And if you get him right in the sweet spot, you instantly kill him. And that's what this is. This little baby comes in for. Because for some reason... Creatures here hate it so much that even when it's put out, they still fear it. They still fear a torch. They fear fire so bad that they literally... Even when you've put it out, they know the torch is there. So they are very rare, weary, weary, not rare. I don't English good. It's for, it's 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 late at night. Come on, guys, give me a give me a break. Okay. So now we pretty much set in stone. Can have a look around just to see if there's any items which the to be some more blood vials. Five in fact. We counted then. Good. So now we have the beast. Look, see, he's fearful. He's fearful. Oh, that was bad. Now they'll see it. He's dead. This is how you cheese this level. This is how I, this is basically the easiest way to get past everything. Obviously without any upgrades, this weapon can't instantly kill, which is going to be a bit of a hardship. I would literally waste. Instead of a. Uh, I would literally. Not waste. I would literally invest um, some bloodstone shards into this. Because it is greatly, greatly needed. Just for that one hit kill. Well, just for that one heavy kill. Use that heavy. You hit. Use this heavy swing like that. If you noticed what it is, it is Gascoigne's weapon. It's 
Gascoigne's axe. Those guys don't don't care at all. Okay, so we got most of these guys down. There's one more. There he is. Give him a little taste. See the the worry because of the torch, which gives you enough time to get that hit in. Now you go underneath. Now I'm here. More oh, bloodstone shards. See, this is why I would advise investing. That guy. Didn't hear what he said, but it's basically which is why I have to kill you. Now, here's the objective. We gotta get we gotta beat this guy. That ain't gonna be fun. So go. Push down. Cheese it. Because you literally don't want to get involved with the hunter behind you. Go, 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 go. That was why. Because he wants to kill you. Everybody wants to kill you. Now this would be classed as a cheese move, but it isn't exactly a cheese move. It's legit because he's doing the exact same thing. That's... It can go wrong and it can go right. We just gotta pray it goes right for us. And it went right for us. Yep, it went right. It went good. Right. Apologies guys, but we're gonna have to quickly exit and enter. Won't be a sec. See you in a minute. Here's the Powder Keg Hunter's badge. The Powder Keg Hunter was the guy we shot off and cheesed out. Now, here's where it gets interesting. We go all the way back down. Might as well heal ourselves up. This is where it gets a little bit risky. I is gonna try and kill us at the same time as so is so are these. There we go. You sure. Okay, we're good. Now, this is where things get somewhat interesting. Maybe taking a few out. This is going to get a lot harder. Because of these whole... This is where it gets a little bit more tricky. Yep, a lot more tricky when walls are in the way. So now we have the big guy we got to worry about. Oh, 
he did not like that. Dodge, dodge. So this is basically what we do. We cheese them out. Kill everything that's trying to mess with us. Just to remember, just so we can see where we are. Shouldn't be too dangerous now. Okay, so that was that. Now, here is our main weapon for now. This is the weapon we were looking for. Next, the armor. Charred Hunter Garb. Miles better than what we already own. And we'll keep the top hat because I look dashing. So that's to replace the threaded cane with probably one of the best pound for pound weapons you can get. Oh, that wasn't good. It's not ascending the ladder. That was close. For some reason, it wouldn't ascend the ladder. So we're going to quickly leave. Get everything set up. Oh, that was close. You didn't concern yourself with me. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I... I mean, it's no weapon we need, but it... Poor guy. Right, so now we can go back. That was all it was. We switch now. We should be ready. One guy coming up here, so as we remember. And that's just making that's just makes a meal of it. And it's got range. That's the best thing about it. But what really has range is its f final move. Look at that for range. Actually, funny enough, when I first went up against the bomb dude. Oh. Now, when I went up against the powder keg. Hunter. The first thing I tried to do was before he attacked me, get into that and just do that. And guys, straight up nearly knocked him off with the amount of reach I had.
There we go. So beautiful, isn't it? The range on this thing makes this a whole a whole lot more dangerous when it came, comes to the actual beasts. Okay, I have no clue where that creature is. What the heck? Guys, can you see that? I'm standing on him. He's fallen through the... Look! Oh my goodness, guys! That was the mo that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in this game. Uh oh. Oh, good grief! Okay, so that's him down. Be very careful, because funny enough, these parts ex when these parts are sharp or connect with anything that could be flammable, they explode. Now here's a treat. Oh, that was close, that was close, that was really close. We got that one-two punch. The one-two punch segment, so beautiful. Oh, good. Okay. Ah, oh, you jerk. But the cry Do too much. Do too much. It's the only downside. Compared to using the Hunter's Axe, compared to that, you don't get the cheese fact that the, the Hunter's Axe is it's it's just used for that big heavy attack. I would have cleaved up both of them and knocked them away. But you see what I mean about cheese mode? That's all it is. It's just constant spamming of that hard attack. And after all the Arnhem, you never need to use it again. It's literally just for these beasts. That's it. There's near enough all of them. All like a few stragglers here and there. Uh, 
And now we got this guy. Oh, that was close. He doesn't come in. He won't attack. I'll come in for an attack. Get blitzed. He's now running away. Just checking. He got shot. Missed his shot. Missed his chance again. The AI does not want to deal with this. But I'm going to make him deal with it. Is that when that happens? Oh, good grief, that was close. Sorry, guys, I was so quiet then. Oh. Okay, guys, I think we're probably done for the day. Yeah, we're done. Okay, guys, so that's that. Let's... I will just quickly leave it here. Why is my beckoning bell? I'm sure my beckoning bell and all my stuff were here before. Did I literally lose that much progress when I accidentally quit? By accidentally, I mean just rage quit. Oh well. So yeah guys. Give a nice little rally and a bow. And I will see you again. So if you want to be a part of the coronation, like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Techno Odin. Peace out. May the power protect you. Always.